Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's ask Taro, are you gonna have arranged or love marriage? Someone requested this reading, and they are from India, I think. It's a very popular question in India. Okay, so, if you'd like to have this reading, please think about yourself, your situation, and choose one deck. Okay. Have you chosen? So let's have a look. Okay, this is deck number one. It's the <clears throat> Sacred India Tarot deck. And the question is, are you going to have arranged or love marriage? Pulling three cards. Okay. Okay, here um with the first card we see we see kind of that you're having a wish perhaps to have a love marriage. You know with this card you have an idea of what kind of partner you're looking for and in some cases can be that you already found one yeah because it's you and the partner you're kind of holding hands and it's basically it can be that you already have somebody in mind whom you would like to marry and if not it still can be that you have an idea of whom you want to marry and what kind of marriage you want and what kind of relationship you want um Okay, I still feel that um you want um I still feel like someone is there, like someone is present in your decision to uh, you know, get married with whom you want to marry. And I think even if it's a love marriage, um you will be happy if let's say your parents will agree with you marrying to that person so you want like a blessing of your parents and all the relatives you know and i think this is your ideal you know situation ideal dream of what you want and the the last card we have Six of Lotuses. You know, we have this snake wrapped around your neck and, you know, the, the, the face. You know, so for me it reminds me of basically you being not free in some way, like snake and represent... Um, you know the tradition or some sort of older female older some sort of wise power like an older person or something so I kind of feel that um, you in here you might have an arranged marriage actually because you know we have the snake and we have the snake here and there is so here are some people with you and here like some third person always wants to watch what you're doing always they are interested in what's happening in your life it's um and i think it's important for you that tradition also you are not completely a rebel 
um, you want it to be very nice, you want it to be traditional and at the same time um, you want to do, to be happy, to do the right choice in partner. Let's just pull one more card. Uh, you know, this card, we see a little bit of conflict with the Page of Swords. So I feel it can be arranged marriage because I feel like like the snake, which is basically like the old wisdom and the old, you know, you know, culture and everything. It's kind of trying to protect you from... It can represent basically all the family and the right things to do and culture and tradition and everything. And with the pages, page of swords. I feel, you know, can you see a heart here? You know, it can be that you will have arranged marriage but it's gonna be a love marriage as well like you're gonna have an arranged marriage with a person that you like and love something like that like almost like arranged marriage will be uh, the best marriage for you like perhaps through arranged marriage you can marry a soulmate first of all I feel like you're not free with a snake on your neck like um, like some other person or, or something is always watching over you and with the six of lotuses also means like a soulmate and I'm just seeing this heart here which reminds me of love so you know uh, how sometimes arranged marriages turn out to be the best marriages I think this is one of those cases where basically uh, maybe by destiny you'll get the best partner in an arranged marriage way, but there'll be love. Or I would say 50-50, it's like hard to tell, maybe you'll have somebody and then parents will arrange you married with that person that you know already. So, it's gonna be... Feel like a love marriage but traditional marriage at the same time yeah okay this was our reading number one let's move on to our reading number two This is our deck number two. It's the Buddha Tarot. The question is, will your marriage be arranged or love marriage? Okay, we have again seven of wands, hangman, and two of wands. Again, we see the snake, very interesting. Well, in this situation, I'm seeing like, like a... Com conflicting situation happening right now like maybe you're not agreeing with your parents maybe your parents already found you someone you don't like and you're kind of hate to think about it you know you're trying to fight against their decision fight against their will you know etc etc because this or maybe they're forcing you to marry and you don't want to marry <laughs> you want to marry like maybe in a love marriage way but you haven't found anybody yet so and I feel like you're trying to resist somebody you're trying to fight off you know you know snake and sometimes talk about tongues tongues so many curious people like talking talking like keep asking you 
have you been married uh why haven't you been married you know have you find someone you know when will you marry that you know like a pestering thing going on like it's very common in india so it must be uh, like someone pestering you a lot questioning you maybe your parents maybe your mom maybe your grandma aunties things like that you know because snake is like a tongue very hurtful tongue and uh and you're kind of standing up for yourself you're saying i'm not ready for that i want to you know finish my studies or or you know become very good in my job so that i can you know marry uh things like that and we're seeing basically uh, now with this card here it's going to be a range now we have this invalid card the invalid suffering man which is usually a hangman so it can talk about some illness like illness in the family illness in within you let's say some illness can be anything from anxiety depression to diabetes and anything you know a health problem basically one of the meanings can be that it's uh, actually someone in the family is ill and you don't want to marry yet or something um and uh, at the same time it can be that you're trying to put it off that all decision that whole thing for some reason Yeah, so I'm seeing you putting it off, putting it off, and perhaps uh, putting it off because someone in your family is ill. And the last, we see basically a partnership card, two of wands, two of lotuses in this deck is two of wands. And it can kind of talks about like partnership, but I don't see like, I see more love marriage than arranged marriage. But it also can be arranged marriage because two of wands is like a business agreement. It's like, and the arranged marriage is also like a business agreement sometimes. So let's have a look. Let's pull one more card. Look, I. I'm not sure if this is showing the marriage at all, Six of Swords. Yeah, it's very interesting. It shows some sort of not wanting to get married, wanting to escape this topic. Maybe uh, wanting to work now and do something else and put it off at all. Like with this, it can also talk about going abroad, wanting to go abroad, having dreams, you know, and it doesn't show any marriage at the moment. And here we go, two of pentacles, which again can talk about kind of the, like a dowry or exchange of gifts, so to say. Although in this deck is kind of a little bit like a being stuck, the situation is stuck. So I don't see any marriage in this situation, in this deck. But uh, it can talk about uh, having friends and things like that. Can be arranged or love marriage, and also this is a curious card because uh, we see two people pouring water or milk in one big pot. So it's like a marriage, you know, two people adding up to create one family, you know. So from that perspective, we see partnership, some sort of partnership. But 
I'm not getting. Is this really? Is this arranged or love marriage? Let me ask another deck. This is gonna be arranged or love marriage. I don't see marriage here, but money can talk about arranged marriage. Either it's arranged marriage, although I don't see any party, any function, any people, you know, gathering, discussing, guests, whatever. I don't see that. Or it can be that you want to work only, you don't want to get married ever. You know, it shows money and uh, it does show a child. But um, I'm not sure why I'm not feeling the marriage here. Maybe it's help, uh, some sort of partnership and friendship. Um, I don't know what kind of situation you're in, but it's very hard to see. I don't see a marriage. I see dreaming and I see, you know, some sort of partnership. It can be. But just because of this card, it means you're resisting, yeah? And there's some illness or some sort of obstacle going on. Also, it can be sacrifice. From that perspective, we can say that it can be arranged marriage. But I would say it's most probably a love marriage. Then. Love marriage or like living relationship. At best, okay, that's it, and I'm not seeing it in this deck, in this all cards that were here. I don't see any marriage. Let's move on to the deck number three. This is deck number three. This is Osho Zen Tarot. The question is, are you going to have arranged or love marriage? Okay. The master sharing and receptivity. We'll hear a few lots of love in this uh, spread. I think here you're kind of open. You're okay with either love marriage or arranged marriage. And I think you're like, whatever comes my way, I'll take it. And, you know, the master card can represent you being a very wise person, very spiritual, very wise, very deep person. So basically, like an old soul. If you're an old soul, that means you usually don't show a lot of um, interest in, let's say, basically old souls are very flexible. You know, whatever comes, you take it. They will not resist too much. They will not rebel. They will basically listen. Because they think that whatever comes their way is kind of good. It's kind of okay. And, you know, here it reminds me, the sharing card, is when uh, someone comes to look at the girl or the boy. I think they go to look for the girl, at the girl first. So when they look at the girl and they bring these um, snacks with tea and everything, so it seems like this is like an auntie dressed up, you know, who's bringing sweets for the guests. Uh, for the guests, yeah. So I feel like some sort of ritual or puja or some sort of uh, thing is taking place, like traditional, a little bit like 
uh, that sort of thing because this is basically a cup card I would say it talks about love as well but I feel this is an arranged marriage somehow because you can talk about you being wise but this person actually this is Osho he looks like um, like your father or some uncle especially if you're from a Sikh family so they have these long beards and he reminds me of basically a Sikh father and she is, let's say, your mom bringing sweets, you know, to someone, to guests, let's say, to the boy's uh, side. And I feel you're accepting it, you know, you're, whatever happens, I'm okay with that. So, and lots of family presence here, so because of that, I think it's going to be arranged marriage. Yeah, we have this inner voice. Well, I think this card is basically it's um it's um high priestess card, I guess. And uh, high priestess is very passive. She doesn't uh, also rebel. She doesn't um, express her opinion. She's kind of like quiet and silent. So, maybe it's you, you quietly agree with your parents, you know, you quietly agree, or some part of you is very spiritual and old also, so you kind of let others decide, you know, that sort of thing, and you believe and trust that whatever is decided will be the best thing for you. So, somehow I'm feeling with these cards... It might be arranged marriage, just because of this puja thing. Yeah. It's gonna be arranged or love marriage. One more card. And here again we see uh, kind of being bound, you know, all this line with the sheep. I think what happens often in arranged marriages is basically people try to act better than they are, like, you know, putting on smiles and everything and just being polite. And for me, it's like um, tiger or lion in a sheep's uh, fur. Anyway, this is a devil card, I guess, conditioning. It's talking about being bound some way, in some way, you know. Yeah, I think lots of pretending is going on when, you know, people socialize. So, because, you know, they want to show their best parts, best side. Yeah, this was our reading number three. Let's move on to the reading number four. Yeah, this is our reading number four, deck number four. This is the mystical tarot. It's also like an uh, Indian deck. So, are you going to have arranged or love marriage? Whoa. Well, here we see already a little bit of drama. You are crying, you're worried about this topic. This topic is not not an easy topic for you. You know, you might uh, really worry about your marriage, whom you're going to marry. Maybe you're actually feeling like you're not free in some way. Maybe you're just afraid. Will it turn out good? Will it not turn out good? Maybe, you know, you've seen many bad marriages and basically it scares you, you know, and you're basically afraid of to think about marriage in general. And here, of course, we see the money. Like, uh, financial aspect plays a role in your marriage. Financial aspect plays a big kind of 
role. It can talk about the dowry thing, it can talk about the finances, it can talk about actually uh, when I see money in the marriage question, it reminds me of arranged marriages basically because people choose according to financial status of you know the other person and things like that so and we have the strength card which also talks a little bit it came out reversed so i think it's talking a little bit about um, you know the applying the force in the whole thing so i think it's a little bit like forced you know there's a little bit of force because it's kind of saying you have to be strong so from that perspective um let's have a look I'm not seeing the actual marriage here, yeah? but I'm seeing you very worried about the marriage and the financial aspect, maybe the dowry thing, and there can be an element of forcing you, you know, to marry, or suggesting you to marry in an arranged marriage way, or maybe with the wrong person, it's just going to be arranged, or, okay... Well, basically, uh, magician here, it's where it looks like a pope. So for, from that perspective, we can talk about uh, Pandit or, or some priest. But... Uh, But actually, uh, this card talks a lot about your own decision, you know, what's, uh, what do you think is right for you, what do you think is not right. It basically shows that you have the power to decide, to say yes or no, and it can, it's up to you, basically. With the Magician card, it says it's up to you, but, um, and you probably will postpone this all, whole marriage thing. Although from the looking at this deck, it reminds me of actually a pundit, not a magician. So it can be like um, maybe there is already a priest coming to your house, maybe to take your astrology chart, you know, and it can talk also about some sort of uh, religious um, like a procedure or some sort of thing like that. Like it's, um, yeah. Okay, what is that? I'm not able again to say 100%. Is this arranged or love? But I feel like you're worried. So because of that, we can guess that it's probably arranged as well. Because some sort of re religious procedures are already taking place. arrange your love I'm getting queen of swords like um, angry auntie basically I don't know who she but she might be uh, playing a role in your marriage thing maybe she's very forceful and strong about her opinion regarding you marrying in a certain way you know basically it can be that she is like a grandma or some auntie or some you know Maybe even your mom. Yeah, so I think this is looking like arranged more. What is the advice for you? Because you look upset. I think just ignore it. If, it's, if it hasn't happened yet, you can just ignore it. Just act uninterested. Just don't approve of it. Yeah? And uh, that's it. If they're offering you an, uh, a rich person to marry, for example, 
that you don't want to marry. You can just walk away, basically. It says that in this situation, you can walk away from the situation. It's in your hands. Even if it's very intimidating, these people and these aunties, uh, nobody can force you, actually. Just in case, it's this situation. It seems to me like it is. Okay, this is our reading about arranged or love marriage. Please write in the comments, did it resonate or not? Please like if you liked it and subscribe if you want more of these. And I really appreciate you watching this video. And I hope we see, we will meet each other next time. Have a great night. Bye-bye.